at what milestone can we expect a face reveal? Face reveal? Face reveal when? I think you should face reveal. Can you do a face reveal? Will you do a face reveal in the future? Face reveal? Hello, and welcome to Escopos Gaming Q&A, the thousand sub special. Yay. <laughs> so recently we just hit 1,000 subscribers on my channel. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's been such an amazing journey with you guys. And really wanted to say that we appreciate each and every one of you mm -hmm. who have been following and supporting me. And we're truly beyond grateful for that. And so this Q&A is for you guys. So let's hop right into the questions. Let's go. Who is your favorite character by Rish Gupta? Who do you think the best character in terms of design is? Caden Carpenter, rate your top five best and favorite Injustice Mobile characters. Sister Kizim, favorite character in the game, Gabriel Porus. And who is your favorite character, Real Epic Aaron? That was Real Epic Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard to pick a favorite character. First, I was drawn to The Flash. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, you know, all the different versions of The Flash. But then, as you guys know, I managed to promote my Shazam more, so I kind of liked him too. But basically, you know, I like any character mm -hmm. that dons a scarlet suit. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have a specific favorite character. I also like Injustice 2 Superman because he's obviously OP. Like, mm -hmm. strong stats, great passive, um, all around great character. Okay, top three characters you enjoy using them as a team or individually by Abdullah Muslim. And what is your favorite team to use by El Fabio? Top favorite team. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I use I cycle through different ones as I play, but the latest one is definitely the fastest MP team that I just posted in my previous video. So it consists of Earth 2, The Flash, Luchador Bane, and Prime Hot Girl. That that is hands down my favorite team right now because they're just so fast and they're powerful and they can take on pretty much any team. So yeah, that's my favorite team because I'm all about efficiency. So Oscar Jones asked, How much does your wife know about Injustice? Does she play it regularly or only just know about it from your videos? Okay, so how much does your wife know about Injustice? Well, I know quite a lot and that's thanks to Scopos himself from, you know, talking about it all the time and like you said, through his videos. So that's how I know most of it. And I also have an account, but I don't play it regularly. Next question, what was your first Elite 10 level 60 by Rashid Gupta? Yeah, that's the easy one. It was Injustice 2 Superman. I remember when first starting out, I didn't have a lot of good gold cards at all. But I knew from reading from Injustice Wiki that, you know, he was pretty much one of the strongest cards out there. And I was lucky, you know, to have him as a challenge. And so I upgraded him all the way. And then he carried me through multiplayer mode, story mode. You know, I was able to defeat all of the battles, all thanks to him. So I kind of have fond memories of Injustice 2 Superman. And even till today, I still use him to grind my multiplayer matches. So yeah. What was your first gold and what was your first challenge gold by Mimi Mukherjee? So the way I started playing Injustice, a little bit funny. Basically, I went the very inefficient route. I grinded par credits for like five days at the beginning of mm -hmm. my account and did not spend anything I immediately bought my first gold card which was Man of Steel Superman <laughs> I mean of course now looking back that's really inefficient much better off spending on bronze or silver packs but I had a lot of fun with mm -hmm. Superman you were I remember you were so excited you're like look what I got yeah <laughs> yeah Man of Steel Superman like I had so much fun using him as for a challenge character, I can't really remember exactly which card it was. It was either Prime Batgirl or Prime Darkseid, one of them, but yeah. And Mr. Silent asks, what is your wife's opinion on Injustice Mobile? What's her opinion? Um, my opinion on Injustice Mobile is... She doesn't really like playing the game, <laughs> honestly. I mean, just be honest. Yeah, fighting games you know, is yeah. not really her thing. They're not really my thing. Um, I'm more into the open world concept kind of games so yeah mm -hmm. okay so i'm going to group these couple of next ones together but all of them pretty much ask since it's a pretty niche game why did you get into injustice mobile and that's from ag sajir kazim 
Yes, DJ Discomplete 115YT, and Obesia. So my story of how I got into Injustice is pretty interesting. I was first exposed to the game like maybe, what, six, seven years ago when it just not long after it came out. Hmm. And that was back when I was in college. Okay, so I saw one of my college friends playing Injustice Mobile back then, those many years back. But at the time, it didn't really spark an interest and I just saw him play, but I never played it. And then recently when I was unemployed, like what, over a year ago, my wife has an Xbox 360, you know, the old one lying around at home. <laughs> just thought I would pick it up and play some console games. And one of the games was Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. I enjoyed playing it. And so I was thinking to myself, hmm, is there a mobile version or counterpart for mm-hmm. that game? And that is literally how I started playing Injustice Mobile. Wow. Little did I know that it would become such a big part of my life. So the next question is going to be a bunch of questions grouped together again Mm because they're all very similar. Mm -hmm. And so they're all pretty much asking, do you believe the developers may add any new content in the future? And that's from El Han and Mist Fox, Hayton Anderson, and Kanyari Wala Akong name. Wow. Yeah, and so they're all asking, think the developers will update? So the game hasn't had an update in more than a year now. Mm-hmm. Um, and yet, we can see that the same developers have more interest in like Injustice 2 and Mortal Kombat Mobile. You know, these games have more updates than Injustice 1. And yet, we can't say that Injustice 1 is completely dead at this Mm -hmm. point because the challenge cycle and MP cycle are different, you know, and recently they just came up with the double XP event Mm. as well. And they've been selling these Donna's Justice, Batman, Arcanite Batman, and Halloween bundles. Like, they've been making money off of this game Mm -hmm. even till this day. So, you want to say, yeah, it hasn't received an update in a while. But at the same time, it's not completely dead. So, you know, I, I really don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, it is unlikely that they would update the game. But it is debatable if it's on its last legs at this point. Who knows, okay. really? How much money have you spent on the game by Potatoes Man? <laughs> <laughs> and AJ Jones also asks, do you spend money on Injustice? Right. So prior to like a few weeks ago, I was a completely free-to-play player. Mm-hmm. Even when I started, I just spent a whole bunch of time on the game playing it and grinding for park credits. As I've already mentioned before, I was unemployed, so I had all the time in the <laughs> world, basically. But just until recently, where the character bundle Batman vs. Superman, uh, that was my first purchase of the in-game store. I spent 20 bucks there, and then I bought the Arkham Allies bundle. Um, So I bought that too. So that was a total of 40 US dollars. So the next question is apparently very popular. It has 20 likes. Mm. Uh, How does your wife feel about the time commitment you put in the game? Question by AG. Similar questions by others. How does your wife feel about you playing the game so much? By Mr. Skill Gaming. And how does your wife feel about how much time? By Lel Dog. (laughs) So yeah, how how do you feel? Um, Well, here's the thing. Scopos, before he was Scopos, was a huge PUBG player, (laughs) and that took up a whole lot more time commitment. Yeah, you thought I spent a lot of time in Justice. (laughs) Yeah, Spent way more in PUBG. Mm -hmm. So, I'm very thankful for the amount of time he spends in this game, because he can play it, and then also be around the house at the same time, so... I actually don't mind it too much. Yeah, because the thing is, in Justice Mobile, you know, even even the online battle aspect, mm-hmm. you know, you're playing against AIs. Yeah. You don't play real players. You don't play in real time, so mm-hmm. to speak. You don't have to wait for another player to be online and all play at the same mm-hmm. time. You can play it at your own time. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you know, survivor mode, challenge mode, everything, you can play it, like, offline as well. Mm-hmm. And so that just gives me a lot more flexibility in terms of time. So I can just pause the game whenever I want and play it whenever I want. Whereas on PUBG, you had to, you know, like, coordinate when you want to be online with your friends. And then all... literally go off into another room. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's just a lot more different. Yeah, he spent so much time in PUBG that he was Conqueror for, like, 20-plus seasons. Yeah, uh, that's an exaggeration. I'm not sure it's, like, over 20 seasons, but, yeah, a few seasons here and there. <laughs> but anyway. Milkshake, with 20 upvotes, asks... Wow. Character gear tier list? Question mark. They're asking me if I'm ever going to make a character or gear tier list. So someone on Reddit has 
asked me a similar question before quite a few months back mm -hmm. and I did send him kind of a lengthy reply but basically in my personal perspective I don't think I will ever make a character or gear tier list simply because first of all it's really subjective you know some people might enjoy or think that the character is better than others whereas I might disagree you know it's just a really subjective thing mm -hmm. like whether you enjoy playing a character or not or whether it's good or not and more importantly, what I think is that when we segregate characters or gears into different ranks, then the lower ranking or the lower tier ones would tend to be sidelined, while the top tier ones will get the most attention. So this would actually stifle creativity mm. because people are just going to say, oh, the bottom tier ones, uh, they're not even worth looking at or they're not even worth using because, you know, they're weak. So I'm just going to use the strong ones. But... When you do that, you know, you don't even give a chance to the other so-called lower tier characters or gears, you know. They're only bad until someone proves that they can use them well or proves that, you know, they're actually not bad. So to me, every character has its use or has its strengths for sure. And they're great to use in different scenarios. But yeah, that's my take on tier list and why I probably won't ever uh, make one. Question by Rashid Hussein. Does your wife also play Injustice or any games at all? Well, I have an Injustice account. I don't actively play it, but I also play other games such as all of the Assassin's Creed's. I like Minecraft. Yeah, um, all the games I don't like. <laughs> come she on. likes. <laughs> it's like it's boring for me. No. <laughs> but yeah, I do play games. I just am not into the yeah, fighting more, games. Yeah, more like single player and you know exploring that mm -hmm. kind of thing, which is not my cup of tea. I'm more creative, obviously. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I'll give you that. You're definitely more creative <laughs> than I am. So the lit one asks. How do you feel about Injustice 2 Mobile? Would you ever upload Injustice 2 content to this channel? And then other viewers with similar questions on Injustice 2 as well by Specs Dude, Andy Miglior, and Goody05. So I haven't personally played Injustice 2 at all. So whatever picture I have of it is purely based off of other people's experiences. The people I associate with, they tend to say that Injustice 1 is better than Injustice 2. But I know that Injustice 2 has more complex combos and better graphics for sure. Um, I, I just think that I can't give an objective mm -hmm. view on it unless I actually play it. Yeah. And who knows if I'll actually play <laughs> it. I'm probably not. Just too in love with Injustice 1. Yeah, I'm sorry if that doesn't answer your questions, but that's, that's it. If Injustice ever goes offline, will you continue doing content on any new game? And that's by Boy 7 with 13 likes. And then Devlin16 says, when Injustice 1 ends, do you think you will move on to Injustice 2? And both ask about maybe Injustice 3, question mark? Hmm, good questions. Honestly, I, I don't really know. Mm. Um, you don't really want to think about when it goes offline, honestly. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm so invested, you know, and so passionate about Injustice 1. Um, but if it ever ends, I never even really thought yeah. that far. I guess we'll just see what what happens. I guess this ties in with my personality. I'm kind of a take it day by day kind of person. Mm -hmm. I don't really plan many, many steps ahead in the future. I know some people do, but <laughs> not me. I just, you know, kind of just take every day as it is. Go with the flow. Yeah. So we'll see. So how about this? That's his username. And Daniel... Moratov both ask switch to Injustice 3 play make videos on Injustice 3 huh. yeah there has been speculation rumors about an Injustice 3 coming out honestly I don't really know um it just depends on how much of pay to win is involved like Injustice 1 you know mostly it is free to play and you can progress in the game even without paying a single cent. Mm -hmm. um, Injustice 2 Mobile, I've heard, is a little mix of both. You can progress as a free-to-play player, but it would just be slower. And you would progress faster with the pay-to-win. So it's a good mixture of both. So I, I'm not sure how Injustice 3 will be. It probably will be similar to Injustice 2. If so, um, I don't know. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if I would actually get into it because... You know, I'd rather... Well, first of all, I'm poor. So, you know, I don't really <laughs> spend money on a game like unless, you know, absolutely necessary. For example, Dawn of Justice Batman. He used to be able to be obtained through par credits, but that's like a few years ago. So now the only way of getting him is through money. And that's why for completion of collection's sake, 
I bought him. But anything more than that, you know, I don't think I'm willing to spend real money. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so this next question was asked by tons of people. The basic question is, how do you have so much time to play Injustice? And this was asked by Sketch Games, Shirar Kazi, Gabriel Porras, Lel Dog, Lucas Lafrano, Jason Guzman, Astro, Kyle Ching, Aneta Z, Tom Kane, and Captain Crossbone. So, how do you have so much time to play Injustice? Hmm, I wonder how. <laughs> so, long story short, I there was a period of time where I was unemployed, mm -hmm. and I was literally just sitting at home. And that's why I had so much time to, you know, be playing Justice uh, pretty much whenever I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But recently, since getting a job, it's more of time management. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, also not too long ago, I became a mod, a moderator for the Injustice Mobile subreddit. Yeah. Among other responsibilities that I have, you know, at home and at work. So it just becomes more of a time management thing. I mean, everyone has 24 hours in a day. So it's just a matter of what you prioritize. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, if it's important to you, you'll make time for it. Exactly. Yeah, basically, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So the next question, play any other mobile fighting games like Mortal Kombat or Shadow Fight? If so, would you ever consider making vids by politics as usual? One on one. Other viewers have asked similar questions like, do you ever think you'll do another game? Do you plan to play other mobile games? Do you play any other games? So asked by Captain Crossbone, Yusuf Pyro68, Alpha Encoder, Saber Meow, Corey Rhea, and Blake here, boys. So. No. <laughs> he's purely focused on Injustice 1, and he's good at that, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe in the future. Yeah, but, game, but yeah. Not right now. again, you know, I'm not a planner. I'm only focused on one game at a time. That's usually the case. Like previously mm -hmm. when I was in PUBG, I spent all my time there. I never played other games at the same time. I know a lot of you do like play multiple games at the same time, but that's just not me. So I've never really thought about it. Maybe I will in the future, but for now, yeah, I'm just sticking to Injustice 1. So next question, an interesting one mm -hmm. uh, by Lone Wanderer. The lit one and Uzi over Cardi. They're all asking basically the same thing. Have you thought about branching out to different types of content, whether vlogs or other games, etc.? Hmm. So <laughs> I know what Scopus is gonna say. It's probably I don't plan. You it, know exactly. Yeah. Uh, anything in the future. It's kind of open. Mm -hmm. I would definitely be interested in other content eventually, and spreading our wings and trying new stuff. But right now, we have a long list of videos for Injustice 1. Yeah. So yeah. right now, we're excited about that. So what made you decide to dedicate as much time and effort to Injustice? And that's by Gabriel Poras. But also, Just a Bot said, what motivates you to keep playing Injustice Mobile? Basically, the passion for the game. Mm -hmm. You know, when something really interests you and you enjoy it a lot that just comes naturally like you don't need to be forcing yourself to play it a lot right <laughs> mm -hmm. or dedicating your time a lot when you enjoy this is just like a relationship if you enjoy spending time with a girlfriend you know you don't have to force yourself to say oh how do you spend so much time with a girlfriend <laughs> like it's just you want to spend time because you enjoy her presence you enjoy her company mm -hmm. and you just like being with her being around her and so it's pretty much the same thing about injustice for me of course, I don't treat injustice like my girlfriend. <clears throat> it's a it's a different um, entity, <laughs> but you get the point. Yeah. Okay. So next question: Are all the tips you know from trial and error from Zadix? Yeah, some of the tips are from trial and error, but a lot of them are actually from reading from Injustice Mobile Wiki as well as through the Injustice Mobile subreddit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very friendly community. A lot of people share their knowledge and stuff. So I learned a lot from there. But so, yeah, basically I was a mixture of both reading from others as well as my own trial and error. Next question asked by a whole ton of people. <laughs> how long have you been playing Injustice? And that goes through everything about how long have you been grinding, playing, when did you start the game? And that's all from Eric, LOL, Walker Workouts, Yusuf Pyro 68, Rashid Gupta, Saber Meow, That Memer, Suction Cup Man, 
Sushi YouTube and Tom Kane. Uh, can't remember exactly when I started playing. Probably like what a year ago. Yeah, sometime last year. Yeah, last end of last year maybe. Mm -hmm. So, but I would say like a year, give or take. Mm -hmm. The reason why I can progress that quickly is like I said, I was unemployed for quite a few months, and you know I literally spent, spent like <laughs> especially the first few months of the game, I spent like ten to twelve mm -hmm. hours a day grinding power credits yeah. just so that I can progress faster. Up into the wee hours of the night. Yep, of the morning. <laughs> of the morning. <laughs> so yeah, that's the reason why I could progress quickly in this game. You progress either by spending time. Or spending real money, and I definitely spent a lot of time on the game. Though it may seem like only one year, but it was a full one year of playing Justice Mobile. <laughs> Next question, a very personal question. Ooh. So pretty much the same question, but I'm just gonna read it off. How did you and your wife meet by Uber Epic? How did you two kids meet by Devlin <laughs> and uh, spill the beans on the engagement story by Mario? Mm -hmm. So yeah, do we you want to start or? I, I can start, yeah. Okay. okay so... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I'm picturing myself as a college student. But when I was in college, and that's how, around the time we met, uh, we met on a dating app. Mm -hmm. and we met online. We met online, and we communicated a lot through the internet. And... Basically, we're, we are, we were from two different countries. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, it wasn't possible for us to meet physically. And that's mm -hmm. why we spent yeah. a lot of time like on the internet, on video or phone calls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of time spent there. And then after I decided I liked him so much, <laughs> <laughs> I decided to fly all the way across the world to where he lived. Mm -hmm. And that's when we actually first met. Physically. Physically. Yeah. At the airport when he picked me up. Yeah. Yeah, so. Such good memory. <laughs> <laughs> and then... You know, as time went on, fell more in love. <laughs> and then you decided you wanted to propose to me, so the engagement story is... Yeah, uh, it was Valentine's Day of 2018. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things we did as a couple was to play Pokemon Go. Yeah. And, you know, that involves you know, walking around, walking outside, trying to catch Pokemon, right? So under the disguise of playing Pokemon Go, I asked her <laughs> out on a date at a nearby park. Mm -hmm. And that's where, you know, I went down on one knee. Yeah. <laughs> was, totally caught her by surprise. It was very surprising because I didn't understand why we were going. On to, Valentine's Day. Yeah, we were supposed to be a special day. Yeah, probably. Like, yeah, you probably expected me to bring you on a dinner, yeah, and he was dinner just date like, or something. Okay, Pokemon Go time, babe. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it ended up really well. So that yep. is it. That's the story. What is your opinion on metal characters? And why do you prefer Shazam versus Catwoman Ninja? And that's by Rafael Vasquez. Interesting. So metal characters, I think, are interesting. <laughs> um, they definitely add a different dimension to the game mm -hmm. because uh, you have bronze, silver, and then the gold tier characters. And if you just stop there, there wouldn't be as much to it. So metal characters definitely adds uh, increases the ceiling, so to speak. And... It's interesting because the stats of metal characters are actually boosted a lot more in online battle or multiplayer matchmaking. It's actually confirmed that their stats are actually boosted according to the level of their promotions. Hmm. I think it's good because they add another level of difficulty. Rather than being able to defeat any team easily when you face a metal team, it makes you think. It makes you find more creative ways to beat this metal team rather than just the usual goal cards. It basically challenges you to improve on your gearing or your strategy of your team to actually beat a tougher opponent. And that's why I think it's good to be there. And why I prefer Shazam over Batman Ninja Catwoman. Basically, I tend to stay away from mainstream or popular characters. So, mm -hmm. you know, Batman Ninja Catwoman, obviously, everybody thinks it's the best metal card. So I, that automatically makes me not want <laughs> to play her. Play, yeah. But New 52 Shazam... I think it's a very strong metal card with strong passes, like his Justice League and if you do defensive coverage as well as his character design and his special two animation. Yeah, that's <laughs> really a beauty to look at. So that's the most few reasons why New 52 Shazam is my favorite metal card. Next group of similar questions. Okay. More personal questions. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to pronounce this thing. Emro Nimois YT asks, do you have kids? Frog Frog asks, do you have kids? 
glossy BBY as do you guys have any kids? So what do you guys think? Do we have kids? And the answer is... Yes, yes we, we do. do. We do have a daughter. Yeah, we have one daughter. And we have a son on the way. Yes, coming December, we shall have two kids. Can you believe that? It's crazy. I, even I can't <laughs> believe that. I mean, I'm literally still playing mobile games. And... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. So, Scopus Gaming. Opinion about hackers in the game? Asked by Glossy BBY. Really? Are you asking <laughs> me about hackers? Like, I have been taking down hackers on iOS for the longest time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I definitely do not approve of that way of playing the game. I think it ruins the game for a lot of players, not just me. And it just takes the fun out of it. Like, if you really have all the max out characters and gears without even putting effort into it, what's there? Like, what satisfaction yeah. do you get from that? I don't understand hackers. Mm -hmm. um, Very anti-hackers. Yeah, and so that's why it's kind of my job to put them in their place. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. How big of a DC fan are you? Did you get more into DC from Injustice Mobile? And that's from Saber Meow. And also, SSJR Kazim asked, do you prefer DC Comics to, say, Marvel? So, I wouldn't really say I'm a diehard DC fan. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't go as far to say that DC versus Marvel, one is better than the other. I think both are interesting in their own right. Uh, that being said, maybe I tend to lean a little bit more towards DC rather than Marvel. <laughs> no, you just definitely lean towards DC yeah. more than Marvel. Like, I don't know. I just, you know, Superman, Batman, The Flash, these are like classic superheroes. So, mm. yeah, when we first met, all the movies that we went to happened to be DC movies. So <laughs> I knew that <laughs> even if he doesn't say it, that he tends to lean towards DC. Yeah. In which I tend to lean more towards Marvel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the next question, dear Scopos, is day job? If so, what is it? And that's by John Doe. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> and there are a ton other people. Who also asked a very similar question. So that's Karan, Jason Guzman, Astro, Saber Meow, Frank Alol, and Bale Smith. So, besides injustice, what is your actual <laughs> job? <laughs> right. So I actually went to med school mm -hmm. and I became a doctor. I worked as a resident in my home country for two years. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, because I wanted to be with my wife mm -hmm. and get married, so I decided to move to the United States where she's at. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I quit my job. I quit everything I had. Basically just uprooted my life yeah. and went to America. So now that I'm here, I was, as I mentioned earlier, unemployed mm -hmm. for a period of time. But recently, I got a job as a medical scribe. Yeah. So that's my day job currently. Mm-hmm. Hi, Scobos. Do you have an ultimate end goal to the game? As in, will you stop playing once you've fully maxed every character, for example? And that's by Charlie Thieker. Another similar question. What is your end goal with the game by Just a Bot? Hmm. Good questions. Um, yeah, I think currently my end goal is actually just to complete my collection. I'm not too far away from that. Uh, but otherwise, honestly, I have achieved most of the goals I had. Like, mm. you know, maxing out certain favorite characters that I had, getting the most significant gears in the game, finishing in first place on multiplayer, which I've done multiple times over. So, yeah, I'm actually kind of approaching... Not, not approaching, I've pretty much reached the end stage of the game. But I think I'll still be playing it a lot simply because I want to be contributing to the Injustice Mobile community as well as uploading more YouTube content. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I would continue playing the game. No real end goal in mind at this point. Okay, so the next question asked by two people, pretty similar. They say, what made you start YouTube? And what inspired you to start making Injustice content? When did you realize you had a following? And that's by Robuto Pacheco and Japanese Symbol. <laughs> Japanese Symbol. <laughs> huh. Yeah, so some of you might find this interesting, but I did not start out wanting to be a YouTuber at all. No. Um, <laughs> I started off just joining the Injustice Mobile subreddit. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, I mentioned it a lot on my YouTube channel. It's so where I started off interaction with other players and sharing information and knowledge of the game. 
And when did I realize I had a following? It's when people started telling me that, oh, you know, your content is pretty good. Like, I appreciate and enjoy that you're sharing all this knowledge.、Mm-hmm. And people on Reddit actually were the ones who pushed me to say, you know, hey, you should start a YouTube channel. Like, a lot more people could benefit from your knowledge of the game on YouTube. And that's how I actually transitioned to YouTube.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah, for real, never did I ever imagine that it would blow up to this proportion because to me, it was just helping out other people with my videos as part of a hobby I'm doing.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, if you told me, like, what, three months ago that I would have a thousand subscribers, no <laughs> way, I would have, I would have、no. been laughing my head off.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. The next question is Are you planning on making a Discord? And that's by Beamer. So, the thing about making accounts is the upkeep of it.、Mm-hmm. Like, I just created an Instagram account, and you know, there is kind of an expectation for me to be uploading pictures or videos at some, at some point, as well as replying DMs. Yeah. So, currently, I'm kind of. I'm kind of tied up with quite a lot of things、mm-hmm. and a little busy at the moment.、Yeah. So I'm just afraid if I create a Discord、um, too much. and if I'm going to be inactive on it, then what's the point of even creating it? You know? So yeah. yeah, I'm a little busy for that at the moment, but we'll see in the future. You know, maybe I will.、Mm-hmm. Question by Antipasta <laughs> Do you and any of the mods, other well known people of the subreddit, know each other in real life? If so, what's it like, especially competing against them? So, the answer is no. I do not know Devlin or you know, other well known people of the subreddit personally. We haven't met in person. But I would be interested to、mm-hmm. do so, actually.、Yeah. Especially Devlin. Like, I'm so curious <laughs> to, to see what he looks like and you know, how he talks and speaks in real life. He seems to be older. No offense, brother.、Um, but. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, you are older than most of the player base. But, you know, it really hats off to you for sticking with the game since the very beginning.、Um, mm-hmm. I really haven't seen any other person with such dedication, years of dedication to the game as you. Yeah, so, super dedicated. So, yeah, big shout out to you, Devlin. You've been doing great. Keep it up. Next question is How long have you been married? So, a lot of、mm-hmm. people who basically ask the same question. So, I'm just gonna list out the names of those who ask Xenix213, I'm the one Sean, Frog Frog, Elo DDS, Glossy, Roberto Pacheco, Saber Meow, and that Memer. So, basically, all of them asked, How long have we been married? Yes, Scopos. How long have we been married? Oh, this is a test. She always, <laughs> she always tests. <laughs> You know, whether I remember like the significant dates of our relationship、mm-hmm. and stuff. So, we were married in, we first met each other in February of 2017.、Mm-hmm. And we got married in March of 2018.、Mm-hmm. So, with a little bit of math, <laughs> we're in November of 2020. So, that's two years and eight months.、Mm-hmm. Yep. Good job. <laughs> Saber Meow asks Have you ever gotten fully burnt out from the game? What's the longest break, <laughs> break from Injustice Mobile you've taken? Yes, I have been burned out. Because if you play 10 to 12 hours a day, <laughs> you are going to get burned out.、Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the longest break? I never took a break, though. No. I mean, I played less hours for sure, but never completely stopped playing the game. Yeah. I, I just can't. I <laughs> just can't. It's, it's like a drug. <laughs> To keep you know playing, nah, I just <laughs> I'm、no. kidding. I, I think there are a few days, you know, when we had to run like errands or there was yeah, some important、so、event lightly where, where I just no, where I just did not play for like a day or two, but there's not considered a break, right? Yeah, that's because I actually had some work to do.、Mm-hmm. Yep, so this question is from the one and only Devlin 16. If you could refresh one older card, how would you change its stat and or passive wise? Um, older cards. So for me, it's either Elseworld Flash or Boss Solomon Grundy. I think <laughs> these two characters are older, and that's why they have like really low stats,、mm-hmm. so low that people despise them <laughs> on the subreddit. But I think they are, you know, they have potential to be better cards for sure, like、mm-hmm. boost their stats up to at least a thousand or more for damage and health. As for passive wise, Like Boss Lumen Grundy, I was thinking you could include an extra aspect to his passive so that he doesn't die for a period of time, like a few seconds or something. Something like New 52 Shazam's passive.、Mm. 
just so that this would synergize with his existing passive, which grants him bonus basic attack damage mm. when he has low health. See, the problem with him is that he deals the most damage the lower health he gets. But if he's low health, he's really at high risk of dying or getting knocked out. And when he's knocked out, you can't do any more damage. Mm. So if you added the other aspect of his passive, which allows him to stay alive for a certain amount of time, then that would greatly increase his potency or his damage dealing capacity. Mm -hmm. So that's a possible way of improving on an older card. But, you know, I'm probably just dreaming about this since (laughs) I don't think developers would push any further updates. So the next question is, how old are you? And someone asked the same thing, which was just by Saber Meow and Suction Cup Man. (laughs) You guys have really creative usernames, I must say. You know, and even... Saeed Alezade said, how old are you and your wife? So Yeah, I am 28. Yes, and I am 24. Ta-da. So I'm not sure what you guys um, think about that. But Maybe to you teenagers, some of you <laughs> might think we're like old people. Um, but I don't know. I feel young. Yeah, I really don't feel my age. We don't feel our age. No way. We still feel like kids, although we have kids. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Gerald Stevens asked, how do people do hundreds and thousands of matches on the online battle so fast so everyone has their own way of grinding online matches quickly but personally i used the scopos build i made a video about it and i know that a lot of people have watched it and tried it out themselves and it worked so that's what i would recommend um if you haven't already watched it check out the scopos build video which i'll link in the eye in the top right corner of your screen and hopefully that will help you to grind many online battles fast as well What is your upload schedule, says AJ Jones. If you learn anything about me from this video, (laughs) you should know by now that I don't really plan things. Mm -hmm. And so, no, I don't even have an upload schedule. So I can tell you what's my upload schedule because I don't have one. Yep, he doesn't have one. (laughs) At what milestone can we expect a face reveal? There are many people who actually ask the same question. Yeah. (laughs) Face reveal? Face reveal when? I think you should face reveal. Can you do a face reveal? Will you do a face reveal in the future? Face reveal? (laughs) So, yeah, basically a lot of you want to know if I'm going to do a face reveal. Mm -hmm. And so to answer, Beery Harrell, G Money, Elliot Kestens, Adam Ahmed, Elo DDS, and Dexter Saturday's questions, I would say no, not anytime (laughs) soon. At what milestone can we expect a face reveal? At a million subs, I would say. But I highly doubt that, you know, I would ever hit a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. But, you know, never say never, I guess. So I want to apologize to those of you whose questions weren't answered. Mm -hmm. Um, There were a lot of questions in total. A whole lot of questions. And we wanted to pick the questions that were asked or repeated more frequently just so that more people's questions would be answered that way, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Maybe in future videos, I might be answering those questions that were unanswered. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned. Yeah. Once again, there's just no words to express how thankful we are to have all of your support. It really means the world to us. So thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed our Q&A today. <laughs> let us know anything that you want to let us know about this video and how it felt, how it made you feel. And... Yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, till next time. Bye.